Yo, what going people of the interwebs? It's that guy back at it again. It's Nine Nation doing these dreadlock videos, dreadlock videos with my eyes closed. It's that easy these days. Nah, I'm just kidding. I gotta stay open, staying in touch and connected and in tune with you guys and gals out there of the interwebs of the dreadlock world. Today's episode of locks, we're talking about moisturizing our locks and I've been one to have some recommendations for moisturizing your locks with things such as aloe vera, um, jojoba oil, coconut oil, black castor oil, just some of my recommendations uh, but I wanted to see what other people had to recommend on the YouTube machine and I came across a channel a few times today called Be Spiffy Be You so without further ado, let's jump right into this dreadlock review of Beast Biffy BU. Let's go! And now that we're here, I'm gonna show you guys this review. Boom, boom. Dreadlock review coming into play. So this is Beast Biffy BU and her video on how to moisturize your locks using less products. Patty Fatty. So uh, maybe you've seen this video, but I have not. And to be honest, I don't watch very many locktubers out there. I watch some content from viewers that I connect with, but on a grander scale, I'm not watching lock videos besides the ones I kind of react to. And I watched a few today, a couple from her and a couple from another lady named Earth Locks, I believe. And I'm, a, I'm really appreciating the lock queens out there uh, making this content. And I'm realizing it's like, these are the, the lock tubers I need to be watching. Because a lot of them are very knowledgeable, especially these days uh, in the lock world, in the lock community. Um, there hasn't always been a lot of informative people here. Uh, but yes, we are learning and living and loving. And here we go. Let's watch her video, How to Moisturize Your Lock. Anyway, so this video is going to be about how to keep your locks moisturized and hydrated without using a lot of products. I'm someone who believes that less is more. I, I believe that too. Less is more is always some beneficial advice. That along with always do your best at everything. So I, like, I don't like to use a lot of products in my hair. Like I, re I really don't. And it's not necessary. Truthfully, we don't need a lot of products that we actually use. And um, less is always more because you just want to keep your hair healthy. Uh, the more products you use on your hair, it can weigh your locks down. Um, it can clog them up as well. Having buildup and residue get in there that you can't get out as easy as it went in. Um, first, I do wanna say that if you wanna keep your hair hydrated and moisturized and things like that, you want to incorporate that in your routine. You wanna do this at least twice a week. If you have trouble like having dry scalp or dry hair and stuff like that you want to really you know take care of your hair so you want to take the time yeah. to actually do that i know that our schedules get busy and we forget but you also want to remember that your hair is also important so in order to do that you have to make time for what you want that you need so today i'm going to share with you the three products that i use to keep my hair nice and hydrated and moisturized um we're just going to start off with the lovely bottle rose water here I was just thinking of water. Before she brought it up, I was thinking you could even list water as a, an ingredient to moisturize your locks with on like a, the minimal, the most minimal level. Um, but rose water specifically, oh, I've, I've been with the rose water and it does smell amazing. This one is definitely added to the list. I love this. If you stuff. don't know what rose water is, it's basically water from the rose and it has like a really floral smell and it just smells amazing. It's nice and fresh and you can use rose water to you know, freshen up your face if you'd like. You can use it to set your makeup. I use it before, it actually, actually work. You can actually use it as an ingredient for your food. There's an Indian dish, it's like a dessert. It's a little like donut type of ball in honey and syrup and rose water. You ever had these and it has little coconut sprinkles on it? They're, they, I don't Pretty know good. Those I don't know if they're vegan or not, but not, probably not because there's honey in it. But I use this for my hair and I like to use this on my hair after I oil my scalp and kind of massage my scalp with the oils. As far as this one here, I like this one in particular. This brand is called the Heritage Ooh. Store and you can find this on Amazon. However, it did not come with this top here. I actually stole it from another bottle, which I'll share in a second, mm. but you can use this to even make perfume, your own perfume, your own type of smell. Um, it's very mm. natural. So um, this is definitely mm -hmm. a go-to and I use this all day. 
I do. All right, next, next. Come on, next one, okay. Now she's talking about aloe vera spray by Greenleaf Naturals. I feel like I need to look up the ingredients while she lists these just to double check at the same time. Let's see. Let's see before she even looks it up. I'm, I'm gonna have to look up Greenleaf Naturals. Can we see the ingredient? Oh, discontinued, eh? It says organic, um, unscented. That's a good, good, good. Let's see if there's ingredients on here. It's tw it's twenty seven dollars on Amazon. Gee, boss. Shouldn't they have to list the ingredients when they're selling stuff here? Cold press from certified aloe vera plants. Plants. So it's a cold pressed juice of the aloe vera, and it's literally seems like it's just aloe vera in this spray. Wow. Let me see. Let me see. Sorry. Let me just see if I can find the ingredients. Contains 99.8% pure organic alloy. Cold pressed. Wow. Pure natural organic. No sticky residue. Hmm. Okay, boom. I uh, don't use this stuff, whatever you do. Look at this, that's good. She's on a good thing here. Let's listen to what she has to say about it. A lot of ingredients in them, because if you actually look for aloe vera or anything that's like aloe vera or natural and stuff like that, you will find items mixed up and all crazy. So you gotta pay attention to the ingredients. The ingredient section is always important because that's what you are putting in your hair. So exactly, and things that you put in your hair on your scalp are essentially going into our bodies. So, you know, even comes down to like the lotions and the creams that we moisturize our bodies with. We've got to be careful of the colognes and the perfumes that we spray on us and the cleaners that we use to disinfect. Like so you want to make sure what you're putting in your hair is actually good for your hair. So I'm just going to read some of the things that's on this bottle. Um, if you don't know what aloe vera is, then it's basically a plant that can pretty much be used for a lot of things. It can be used for your skin, your hair. It can even be used to drink as an herbal tea. However, when you drink as an herbal tea, you will use the actual plant. For this, you don't want to use this for a tea. This is more external use. I mean, you probably could drink it. It's 99% natural. So, um, on the bottle it says, use aloe for dry, itchy, irritated skin. Okay, blah. Next product, please. This top is not from this bottle here. This top actually came with um, rosemary oil and black castor oil. Jamaican black castor oil and uh, mix it with rose water too. But I also mix it with this. And right now I am just using this bottle. This is my, my ride or die. When I'm telling you this is my ride or die, I've been using Wild Growth Light Oil Moisturizer since the start, literally. Wild Growth Light Oil Moisturizer. I never heard of this. Wild Growth Light Oil Moisture. Everything's on Amazon these days, and that's kind of messed up because I know they're not the best company in terms of treating people right. And I can never find the ingredients. Olive oil, olive oil, jojoba soil, coconut oil, castor oil, flaxseed oil, carrot oil, pumpkin seed oil, grapeseed oil and others what do you mean and others contains coconut olive sunflower wow great stuff i'm gonna have to get me some of this too um i picked this up damn she's making some great recommendations here i must say when i first started my journey and i never looked back ever since i've been using it the whole entire time it has been growing my hair very well it keeps my hair nice and thick and it just it's just really wonderful because it's just nothing but natural products in it it's just all oil um different types of oil mixed together and the smell um it could could be a little strong for some people but i'm so used to it that it's like normal you know so it does it is a little strong um but it's worth it. It's definitely worth every penny that I've spent on this. I went through thousands of bottles. I'm not even exaggerating. Like I went through so many bottles because 
I use this on a constant basis and the bottle is not that big. How much is it? <laughs> How much is it? It's a bad frame, key frame. How much is it a bottle? $8 a bottle, that's $10,000. She spent on this stuff, Jesus. It's like the amount of money we spend on our hair. So of course it doesn't have that much um, oil in it. Literally, like this is this is a small, a minor case. Some women pay to get fake hair put in all the time, take out, put in again. Like they're spending like a mortgage payment, not even a mortgage payment, a mortgage down payment on their locks or their hair. It doesn't have to be locks. It, it is four fluid ounces, which is pretty good. It lasts about a couple of months, but um, I, I just love this oil. It has just, I, I can talk about this oil all day. So while you should make a video on this oil. I'm gonna make a video on it after I get a to review. Thanks to you. Growth wants to sponsor me at any given time. Please let them know that your girl is the one because I can live. I live by this. I will send them an email for you. I literally live by this, and I wouldn't even lie to you. So, if you're looking for a natural oil that is just bomb.com, you know where to go. I leave the links down below and get you some. Okay, so as far as me actually applying this to my hair, the first thing I do is grab my oil and... So those are the products. Those are the rose water, wild growth, and... Here it has um, an applicator, like so I can just spray. take the cap off and I'll just... Rose water, aloe vera spray, and wild growth light oil moisturizer. That's what we came here today to hear about. That's the answer to the question. Let's get in to this video. Apply the oil to my hair and massage it into my scalp and get every single area of my scalp and massage it in. After I do that, I just pour a little bit on my hand, rub it, and then distribute it all onto my locks. Also, I like to use coconut oil, um, but I don't have the coconut oil here with me right now, but it is in the that's one of my recommendations at the beginning. I said cocoa nuts. Bathroom. I like to use coconut oil and kind of just lather it over my locks. And that gives me that nice shine and it just looks really healthy. But remember, less is always more with this stuff because it still can build up. So that's what I usually do. I spray it onto my scalp as well and I rub it in. And then I spray it all on my hair. I can just spray it now. I'll just spray it onto my hair and just squeeze it in. And just squeeze it in and just keep on doing it until I get the whole, everything, until I get my whole head. And rose water works very similar to how you might find making your own spray concoctions. You can pretty much make your own rose water with any type of water and essential oil of your choice. So, you know, find the ones that you like to smell best. You could even just do water and tea tree oil if you want to fight a, a bacteria or, or, or fungus like dandruff, whatever, use that to spray and squeeze in on a, on a daily basis because it's very light and it doesn't build up as easy as like a thick MCT oil like coconut might. Uh, so very, very interesting stuff today. Um, I do make my own concoctions and spray it in my hair. Sometimes I use uh, lavender oil. Sometimes I use tea tree oil. Uh, sometimes I use like some jojoba oil. Anything that's essential is, is great to use. And sometimes I even take the plant itself. Like I had a rosemary plant that I had bought or had got given to me and I grew it for a while. And then when I was done growing it, I just, you know, soaked it in hot water in the cheesecloth and strained it. And I used that to spray in my hair for a few days. Um, I noticed that using the plant water doesn't stay as long like it doesn't stay as good as long as the oil water does but it does still stay good for a few days to use it in your hair so if you want to get that planty earthy type of smell it's, it's sometimes good to experiment with that type of stuff but always remember less is more that way you have longer healthier lifespan with those locks so anyways i'm gonna sign off here i um you know appreciate you guys stopping by on the channel every single day it is Not Nation, I'm signing off. And uh, let me know what your favorite lock moisturizing product is. And look at the ingredients and list them for me down below and we'll see how organic they actually are. Cause we do remember people, we are trying to stay organic with products that we put in our hair. So definitely big shout outs to Be Spiffy Be You cause she had some really good recommendations for products that uh, are, are pretty much organic, you know?
So thanks for that. And I'm happy I found your channel today. So anyways, I'm going to head out. Peace out, one love. Snot Nation out of the building. I'm gone. Adios. Didn't you shine?